10 things I hate about you. You. You, personally. No, you, the world. 10 things I hate about... Like, 10 things I just hate and can't stand in this world. Number one. When men go to... Like, businessmen who are riding a skateboard. Like, why? Why are you still riding a skateboard at your age? Like, you're going to your accounting firm job, don't ride a skateboard. You're not gnarly, man. You're not cool. Get off your fucking skateboard. Two. Business women in, like, lady suits and runners. Oh, my God. Like, when they put on their fucking runners to go, go to and from work. Do you know what else is comfortable? A ballet flat. You can wear a ballet flat. No, you want to wear your runners with your business attire? No, not having it. Number three, business women on scooters. What is the world coming to when a business woman is riding a, a scooter? Like, it's easier to walk. Like, you're not going faster on a scooter. Stop scooting. Why are you scooting? Why do you love your scooter so much? Where did you get a scooter? And, like, they fold them up and, like, put them under their desk. Like, oh, my God, look at my cool, like, eraser scooter. Like, no, ew, stop it. Like, you, you're better than that, okay, honey? Like, you're better than that. Number, I think that's three so far. Wow, I'm going really good. I, because I didn't plan what I was going to say. I'm, a, I'm an off-the-cuff kind of guy. Um, number four would probably be... Oh, God, like, I probably should have planned, huh? Um, number four would be... Hmm, people who ride unicycles. Like, I ch children included, adults included, anybody who's like, I'm going to be different, I'm going to ride a unicycle. Is that what it's called, a unicycle? Monocycle. Unicycle. Like, I don't even know how to say it. That's how not, like, a thing it is. It's not a thing that you learn about unless you want to be a clown. Number five, clowns. Oh, my God. Like, who, st who said clowns were okay for children? Like, it, the whole idea of a clown was that makeup, they were, like, depressed people that put on the makeup to, like, hide their true feelings from the world. Like, that is not a good, like, thing to be like, huh, kids, go look at this. And really, every child is terrified of clowns. There is nobody who's like, I love clowns, ha, ah. Like, and like, I'll get them into a psych ward because that shit is not right. Like, no, one time I went to this guy's house, like, and he literally collected, like, not just, like, little statues, big, like, big clowns. Like, oh, my God, they're like... And this was apparently just a rental property because while his other, like, the property he owned was, like, getting redone or something. And so this was just the few he couldn't live without, like, the ones he brought with him. Like, the rest were all in storage. He had hundreds of these clowns. Like, oh, my God, you are a psychopath. I want to go. I'm about to get, like, killed and, like, put in some dungeon that's built in beneath your house. That's why you're probably getting a renovation to build your, like, body dungeon where you dress up as a clown and do clowny things to dead bodies. I'm probably going to end up being one of these clown puppets. Oh, my God, like... Luckily, I was safe. Well, was I? Like, I'm wearing a coloured wig. That's pretty clowny. I just revealed my secret. This isn't my real hair. Um, oh my god, like, that's a weight off my shoulders. I thought, I'm just lying to everyone. Every time I come out in a different hair colour, they're like, how does he do it? Like, short, long, colours, colours, colours. Like, how is it so healthy? It doesn't look healthy. Um, but, yeah, that's, it's a wig. I, that's another thing I don't like, people who don't own their surgeries or their wigs, extensions, like, just say it's a wig, you know, like, there was this one girl I knew that, we were like, it's a wig, it's not even extensions, it's a wig, like, just say it's a wig, still wouldn't say it was a wig, like, like, it got to the point where I was almost ready to pull it off just to check, but like, I'm not that mean, you do not just snatch a weave, snatch a wig in the office. Like, that's going to cause drama. There's going to be conflict. I'm the admin kid. I'm going to get fired in that situation. But, like, if you want to go and have your lips done, if you want to go and have a full facelift, if you want to get your boobs done, own it. You shouldn't be ashamed of wanting to do it. If you are ashamed, then maybe you shouldn't be doing it. But I think that, like, just own it. Like, the more people talk about it, the more normal it is, and it's not going to be have to, something that you have to hide, because I think it's, that, like, it's fine to do, like, I've got surgeries that I,
probably want, I probably won't ever get. But like, if I did, I'd get them. Like, I always, my whole life wanted a nose job. I don't anymore. Like, I think I would look so different without my nose. And even though I can't take photos on my profile, I'm, it's something I've learned to live with. Like, I think that's number six I just did. I'm not sure, I lost count. Number seven would be, oh my God, I'm crying. I'm so worked up. Like, oh, crying after I've just done my makeup for hours. And there's something in my makeup that I'm using and I haven't been bothered to figure out what it is that makes my eyes water. And it's like one of the last steps I do, I guess. Like, it's probably just the amount of makeup. Like, it's like my face is like, stop, I can't breathe. Like, but like, it makes my face, like my eye water constantly. My it's frustrating because I've just spent like six hours putting my makeup on and now I'm walking around all day looking like a cryy whingy little bitch and I'm not a cryy whingy little bitch all the time yes I am that's a lie Stevie don't lie <laughs> anyway I'm also I've lost count again like so recap scooters skateboards shoes with business attire um, unicycles, clowns, own your surgery. Is that it? Is that all I've done? My makeup running when I've spent forever doing it. Eight would be like, oh, um, eight, let's see. Oh my God, but people just don't have a sense of humor. Like, and, like, mostly, like, when you ruin a good joke, like, you waste, like, a good joke because they're the only person around and it's the only time that this joke's going to be funny. Like, it's, like, it just comes to your head and you just say it, like, because you're just so funny. Me, all the time. And then they don't laugh. And I'm, like, I just wasted my joke on you. Like, I don't get to use that again. Like, I don't repeat material. I'm not Amy Schumer. So, like, that's a lie. I repeat my jokes so often. Like, especially, like... I use, this is the example, like, of people not get, not, like, laughing at my jokes. And this is what jogged my memory of it. My Magic 8 Ball. I found this. You can't even see the 8 because of the flashback Mary situation going on. But I found this in an op shop. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, I'm going to, like, ask it so many cool questions. Like, and I do. I keep it on my coffee table. And whenever I've got a tough decision, I'm just like... Like, what are we going to... Like, what's the, what's the outcome? And this helps me decide almost anything and everything. So this woman, she... I, she's like, oh, you're getting this. And I was like, yeah, I've got some really tough decisions to make in my life at the moment. Like, killer. That's funny. Like, because I'm not really... Like, that's funny because an eight ball isn't going to make my tough decisions for me. Like, and me thinking... Like, she just... She's just like... Oh. Like, she actually kind of looked disappointed that someone my age thought that an eight ball could like answer their all their problems in life and I was like I think this just could you get that guy to come serve me and I'll try this again like why are you the Grinch that stole humor I hate you like I know that's a strong word but I really really like that joke um then number nine oh we're getting to the end um, number nine would be when nightclubs, not that I go clubbing, but I'm just basing this on, I live across the road from Crown in Melbourne and like across the road, across the river. Like, um, and so I hear their music on a Saturday night, Friday night, Thursday nights, Thursdays are the new, oh, I just realized my number 10. But anyway, number nine, like. They're still playing the school, the playlist that I was hearing on Schoolies in 2008, which was already being an old playlist because it was being played in the Gold Coast. Wait, it wasn't 2008, actually. 2008 is when I actually graduated. I went on three Schoolies. I'm a toolie, whatever. I don't even care. Proud of it. Whoop, whoop, toolies for life. Um, and so it, this was like, I went on one, two, skipped a year, went on the third one when I was 19 because I graduated year 12 when I was 16. I didn't get a real schoolie, so I didn't even care if I'm a toolie, whatever, I had fun. Um, and yeah, so the clubs there were playing like Sexy Bitch and like all the same songs like that we were listening to that like from when 
from like when I was 18, like th they were just coming out up there. Like it was like, this is my jam. Like everyone was feeling it. And I was like, this isn't a jam anymore. It's not a jam. Sexy bitch is not a jam. It never should have been a jam really. But like, there's always gonna be that one sexy bitch that like, this is my song. Shut up. Like if you call this your song, you're not a sexy bitch. Like, and then like now it's like, 10 years later like it was my 10 year reunion from school the other day so it's like actually seven years later like i can't do math you can see that math wasn't my strong point i think it's actually six years later who knows who cares like math is useless we've all got calculators um and yeah like they're playing at the same playlist at crown like i because crown is like crown is where you go if you don't go out and you're like well like, we're gonna go out to the city and be wild where are we gonna go let's go to crown girls like, shut up, you deserve to go to Crown, like, for that attitude. But, so, like, I'm, like, literally doing my kitchen every night, like, over, over the weekend, and I'm twerking to Rude Boy, like, and, like, you know, what other songs? Umbrella, like, they have a lot of re in their playlist, but, like, old school re which I'm not complaining about. Like, Soldier Boy, where do I crank that Soldier Boy's in the kitchen, me and Biggie's just partying hard, looking over being asleep. She had a big walk today. Someone took her for me. <laughs> no, like, someone took her to a dog park because I don't drive, so they had to drive her to a dog park and, like, she had a little play date down there. And now she's all tucking out, and it's, like, probably the best you've ever seen her behave. And that needed to be acknowledged. Um, number 10 is... Okay, I it's literally... that It's achieved its job. It's got me to subscribe to Spotify Premium now because they were advertising for... Thursdays in Perth. Like Thursday, like Perth have just discovered Thursday. There was a day before Friday and after Wednesday. The Perth they didn't know about. So now that like advertising for you to spend Thursdays in Perth. One, Thursdays have been a thing. Even if we're just talking about in terms of going out, Thursdays have been a thing forever. Every Thursday is uni night. It's when all the Underages go out on fake IDs. It's when everybody got everybody loves the Thursday. Like Perth, how are you just discovering Thursdays? Like now that I'm not into clubbing, like Thursdays are still a big deal for me because we have thirsty Thursdays where I'm just allowed to be as thirsty as I want and nobody can say anything about it. I do that every day. Let's be honest. Confession. I'm always thirsty. Always will be thirsty. I feel like I've been in a desert for a year in a drought like literally parched I need a big cold drink if you know what I mean I don't even know what that means myself so I hope you, if you do let me know um why would you want a big cold drink like that's not a sexy thing but like I'm not gonna want a warm drink if I'm in a drought oh uh, oh yuck oh I don't I'm not in a drought anymore I'm I'm thirst quenched my I have been quenched I got some haterade, got my thirst quenched. Start on them in the Burberry Trench. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with this. I'm not going to finish it all. Um, and if you don't, look it up. <laughs> um, yeah, so the fact that they're just advertising Thursdays and like, I'm just going to fly over to Perth for Thursday and come home for Friday, like, I have work. Like, I can't just go on a Thursday night and like come back on the same night to be back for work. Like, why are they doing this? Like, why are they having a big Thursday, like, campaign? Like, and it's not just, like, one ad that's running. Like, it's, like, there's, like, three or four different ads, like, telling you how great Thursdays are. Like, I'm just, like, shocked that, like, they feel the need to advertise a day of the week. Like, they must really be needing to boost some revenue and, like, like, okay, everyone's already going out on a Friday and a Saturday. Sundays, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we're going to be able to sell them on Sundays. All righties. We're going to go Thursday. Like, who, who was in that meeting? Like, I just don't think it's necessary. I don't think, like, it needed to be on Spotify for all of... Is it just being played in Australia? Is it an international ad? Like, I don't think it needs to be anywhere outside of Perth. But, like, Perth's marketing team have been working overtime again. I hope they're being paid by the government because our tax money should go to something useful. Anyway... This was my 10 things I hate about you, the world, and mostly Perth.
No, Perth, you're alright. No, you. Oh, apparently you have nice beaches, but I'm never gonna go. I'm an East Coast gal. Bye. Magic Eight Ball. Should everybody watching subscribe to my channel and like my videos? Signs point to yes. I'm not even like, I didn't even read that. You're not even gonna be able to see it. Nobody's gonna believe me. But this magic eight ball, I told you it knows. So go ahead, subscribe, wherever it is. Thumbs up. Hit the bell. That was me drawing a bell. It kind of looked like a penis. You get what I'm saying.